Okay, this was uh, some footage I shot on the on the second day. I was there. So I headed over um, from Pebbly Beach um, through the bush walk and came out um, at South Mary Mary Beach, I believe it is, and um, or the, and this is part of the Snapper uh, the Snapper Point formation. And now there are some very large um, wave ripple laminations, um, or I guess you wouldn't call them laminations, but more bedding, and um, that. This probably indicates um, higher current velocity. Um, you can tell this by the the distance um, between wave crests, and also due to the um, the sort of the size of the the sand within um, that particular um, wave formation. So just um, looking at some different things, um, I haven't given you a very good location reference as to what I'm looking at, but I think I'm just looking under a little um, sort of ledge overhang. Um, it appears to just be a little bit out of focus. So I'm just moving along. You can see, um, I'm not sure what I'm looking at there. Um, some, more, some more trace fossil burrows. Um, as I mentioned before, um, uh, most of the different formations and units within the formations are, um, have got trace fossils. So this was a pretty windy day and um, coming back um, from walking along this platform I was actually hit um, with a, um, a water spout that came right over the top of me. There was a lot of water spouts um, off in the off out to sea and I wasn't paying attention and one came straight over me. Okay, so here we are. This is what I wanted to show you. This is um, the Euripidasma fauna that can be seen um, within this formation. And the Euripidasma fauna um, are made up of uh, quite large uh, brachiopods, uh, myona and uh, megalodasmus and things like that. Um, I'll just check to see what else um, is there. Yeah, megadesma, myona, um, are some of these, um, uh, these different uh, brachiopods. So this probably indicates that um, uh, it was quite uh, quite a prolific little um, sort of brachiopod environment at the time. Due to the size and the cool um, waters, I, I should have mentioned that the waters at this time were, um, were quite cool, seasonally cold um, or seasonally frozen in some instances. And uh, this was a preferred environment for this uh, for these uh, brachiopods. And um, due to their large size, uh, some of these uh, fossils of or when they were live, those uh, those brachiopods probably would have been pretty old. Um, again, we're looking at um, the wave ripples, and I think I, here I just wanted to show you how it intersects um, intersects uh, within the um, within the uh, within the um, beds themselves. And as mentioned before, um, you know, due to the distance between the wave crests, and also um, how coarse the sand is. At the how coarse the sand is um, can give us, um, some indication of the of the water velocity, and I'd say the water velocity probably would have been quite high. So that's just looking at um, sort of how coarse um, the sand is that made up those um, those wave ripples, and that's quite a large um, sort of uh, wave ripple sheet um, we can see extending down. So that's just uh, wrapping up a quick look at the um, bottom of the snapper point formation.